Fake shots. Fake chaos. Total terror shared on social media. Oh my God! As students recorded the horrors inside a Parkland, Florida high school. Please, please, please. But these active shooter scenarios at schools across the country seem all too real and common today. What you haven't seen in the coverage. A hero dog who emerges, trained to run right by terrified people and go after the gunman taking him down. That, along with a specially trained handler, is part of what Joshua Morton is selling. Ultimately, it's a security company. Um, we're not just providing a canine uh, to the school. We're, we're providing a canine team uh, to dynamically address a active shooter situation. The story initially gripped national headlines in mid-August. A school in Minnesota will be the first to get one of the canines in January. It's not quite there yet in Minnesota. There have been some delays for a pilot program. Morton and his partner say interested schools want to make sure the message is they're being proactive, not that they're dangerous. And if this is working in schools and kids are getting bit or, or dogs are attacking the wrong people, um, would you be okay sitting here and saying that's the risk we have to take? Well, if we sit here and we say what if, um, we're just going to talk each other out of not doing it. The father of three. It's just a horrible situation. And former Navy SEAL. I did three deployments with a with a canine. Is about results. Morton characterizes these heartbreaking scenarios one way. This is war. Whether a school or district is willing to see it like he does and take the risk is the question. <laughs> Morton says an Iowa school is interested in the pilot program. He says once that happens, a handful of schools in Texas are ready to sign up and perhaps schools even here in Minnesota. But where things stand, there wouldn't be any sort of implementation until fall 2020. The program would cost 125 grand a year. So we've been asking our sunrisers all morning what they thought about this story. So Alicia, what are they saying? Yeah, we got a lot of comments. Roland says it's a good idea. Have a marine handler stay in front of the school before and after and patrol the hallways like at uh, Woodcrest Elementary. He says they didn't have a dog, but it was still effective. And Shelly said, so police dogs are trained to attack certain people. Wouldn't these dogs be trained the same way? What's the concern? up a good point there, Shelly. And then Frederick here saying a shooter is a shooter no matter what the age. And these dogs, from everything I've seen and heard, are trained to stop an attack. So it sounds like a lot of people are interested to see where this would go. Yeah.